I heard you want to learn how to color correct. Awesome. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use all the different scopes in order to color correct your footage. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the vector scope YUV and waveform Luma. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. My name is Adrian. I'm so glad you're here. I make tutorials on video editing and I have some more free resources that I'll link in the description box below. So let's get into it. So you can see I've got my project open in Premiere. I want you to go up to the top right corner to this workspaces icon, click it, and then open up your Lumetri color workspace. Heading over to the left, you'll see your scopes. If for some reason you do not see any of the Lumetri color scopes, head up to window and go all the way down and make sure Lumetri scopes is checked. We are going to be working with vector scope YUV and waveform Luma. You can see here that I don't see all of those scopes. Head down to the bottom of the window to this wrench. We only want to see vector scope YUV so we can uncheck parade. And I want waveform Luma, not waveform RGB. Go down to waveform type and select Luma. Now here's a big question I bet you have. Do I really have to use scopes? <laughs> yes. I know that they can be a little scary looking, but yes, you absolutely must use your scopes. The big reason why is not all screens are calibrated to display color in the same way. So you may color correct according to what your monitor is showing you, and then someone else will watch your video on their monitor and it'll look bananas. So use your scopes. If you color correct to your scopes, then you know it'll be right regardless of your monitor or somebody else's. First, I want to talk about the vector scope YUV. This scope shows you all of the colors that you see in the frame in the program monitor. So you have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And that lightness in the center of that scope shows you how much of each color is present. So if we dial up the saturation, you see those colors grow. And if we dial the saturation down, you'll see that lightness disappear. Next, we have waveform Luma. This shows you the exposure of your footage. The brightest part of your frame will be up at 100 and the darkest part of your image will be down at zero. So if you watch as I change the exposure, everything goes up to 100. And then if I pull it all the way down, everything drops down close to zero. Just an FYI, if you ever want to reset one of these sliders, you don't like the change that you've made, you can just double click it and it'll return back to zero. Now we're going to go over to Lumetri Color. And the only area we're going to work in is basic correction. Let's drop down to color. And the first thing that you see is white balance. When you're setting your white balance, you have a couple of different choices. You can see that the two things that play into white balance are color temperature. So your image will get really warm or it will get really cool. And then tint all the way up to magenta and all the way down to green. I do not recommend using the temperature or tint sliders. I recommend using this little eyedropper. If you click on the eyedropper, you can go into the program monitor and find something that's white. I think this little bright spot on my plant is white or the pot. Click on that and you can see that the temperature and tint have been adjusted for me. I'm going to turn the white balance off. Let's watch the vector scope YUV and see the difference. See those colors change? Next on the Lumetri color panel, you see the light tab. Under that, we have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. If you look in waveform Luma, you can see that I don't have a lot of contrast. The brightest area that's exposed, you can see right here. And 
This corresponds with the lamp in the program monitor. I don't have anything up towards 100, and I also don't have anything touching zero. Generally, what you're looking for in your footage is exposure that is well dispersed, high and low. So I'm going to play a little bit with my highlights and my shadows. I'm going to pull my highlights up just a touch and pull my shadows down just a touch. Now again, I'll turn off the color correction and we can watch the waveform luma and see the difference. Now let's take one last look at the program monitor. I want you to watch this footage. I'm going to turn off the color correction. You might look at that when you first record your footage and think, that looks pretty good. And it does look pretty good. Cameras are pretty powerful. But let's turn on just the basic color correction that we did. That looks so much better. And that's it for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any other information about these scopes that you want to share. If you'd like to see more, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.